hello everyone welcome to another video of leptoscopy unscripted uh, today a patient came to me uh, with the past history of acute, acute appendicitis and uh, currently patient had pain over right upper quadrant usg gave a diagnosis of acute cholecystitis he wanted to underwent both uh, the operation simultaneously in the same setting so he posted the patient for laparoscopic cholecystectomy and appendectomy uh, in such cases uh, what i prefer is to do the appendectomy first uh, because uh, then i can use the uh, left hand side port uh, that i use in appendectomy as the fourth port uh, for the gallbladder surgery without uh, any further uh, difficulty in ergonomics so as you saw i just uh, did the suprapubic port and now i'll be shifting the a camera from the umbilical port to the suprapubic port i am playing the entire video at 2x speed if you want to uh, i have left it completely unedited if you want to uh, view it at its original speed kindly play it at 0.5x and that will do the trick so as you can see there's the appendix uh, the adhesions are a sign of past infection just creating my left hand port uh, a bit up uh, and then where i should have done if it was only a case of appendectomy so that i can use it uh, comfortably uh, to retract the gallbladder in the next part of the surgery so that's the appendix you can see it's uh, slightly inflamed uh, these are the adhesions from past infection just releasing the addition you can see the small vessels of the meso appendix just keeping my dissection close to the appendix body i am not taking the meso appendix uh, in this case completely uh, as you see me doing in other my other appendectomy videos because uh, i have to take out the gallbladder by stretching the umbilical port so there is uh, actually no need uh, for me to cauterize the meso appendix i'll just place the appendix uh, in the hepatorenal pouch and will be taking it out together with the gallbladder at the end of the surgery that's why i left the meso appendix intact so it's a fairly simple part uh, the appendectomy was fairly simple i'll just now like it the appendix at the base and then i'll be shifting to the cholecystectomy part of the operation I tried taking it out once but uh, it's it was evident that it will not come out hence i placed it in the epidural pouch of morrison just spraying the base with a 1 to 2 ml of betadine solution now shifting my camera port back to the umbilical um, umbilical port that is shifting the camera back to the umbilicus and now we'll be creating the epigastric port 10 mm
and finally creating my left hand port that is the right subcoastal port adjusting the focus a bit you can see it's a fairly thin cystic pedicle there is not much additions there there is very less fat but you can see that the patient was suffering from uh, acute cholecystitis because of the interstitial edema just uh, clearing of the fat and the peritoneal attachment creating the posterior dissection to create the common window that's the cystic artery that came into view now should be careful with the hook in such places if you don't have control you might injure the cvd which you can which you can see here now just uh, creating the anterior window between the artery and the duct reach the junction of the duct and the artery sorry it is the junction of the duct to the cvd creating the critical view of safety by clearing the one third of the cystic plate now as you can see the cvs is created and so i'll be clipping the duct and the artery thank you everyone for watching you can uh, carry on watching this entire video i'll be uh, taking out the gallbladder along with the appendix inside and endo back via the umbilical port uh, do like and subscribe if you want to watch uh, such similar videos thank you everyone